Hey guys, what I want to show in this video is extremely important. Well, I feel like I say that in every video, but it's not necessarily that important, but it's just a quick way of using tooltips. So usually what people do when creating tooltips is they create a component like this, which is a tooltip, and then they, whenever they want to use it, they manually drag it somewhere, or maybe if they want to use it, they create a different frame and then probably say something like, if I hover over this, then you should show, show this. Or if they have a separate component instance here, they go here, they say, I want to link it. Uh, while hovering over it, I want to open an overlay and I want to place it manually. And then they do all of this funky stuff just to place a single tooltip. And this is just bizarre, like to me. Um, obviously, if you want like a lot of animations and all of that stuff, that's fine. But if you just want a simple tooltip, imagine if you had to do this 10 times for 10 different elements, that's going to be insane. I just want the tooltip at the top or the right or whatever it is. I don't want to do all of this effort just for something so simple. So what I've done here is I've actually created a tooltip wrapper. As you can see on the left-hand sidebar and um, you, my screen is really a bit zoomed out, so I'm not sure if you can see it correctly, but we're basically using the same component, the tooltip wrapper, and I'm basically changing the inner instances of the component um, that is being used. So now if I go here, as you can see, if I'm hovering over this, this is a button, this is a button. Obviously I can change the text if I want. I'm gonna go here to the text field. And instead of this is a button, I'm gonna say this is a text field and that's gonna be updated. So this is a text field, this is a button, this is a button. And similarly, this is a button. Well, in this case, I wanna position the tooltip at the top. So top, top, top. So again, all of this is actually being done by a single component. Uh, instead of actually me manually linking all of these things, connecting the prototype and overlays and all of that stuff, because I personally feel like that's a lot of effort just to make tooltips work. And just to show you how that's working, I can just use it with a table cell if I want. So this is a table header cell. If I hover over this, as you can see, that works as well. I can change the tooltip uh, title if I want. So this is a cell. I can do that and that's gonna work. So again, this is something, or at the very least in my opinion, is a much better way of using tooltips. It has certain lim limitations when you try to use it with animations and something like sometimes it actually breaks a bit. But usually in most cases, this is really helpful and it saves people a lot of time. So without further ado, let's just see how that's done. So in order to create what I just showed you, we have to first of all, obviously create the tooltip itself. Um, so I'm gonna create a tooltip. So this is a tooltip and I'm gonna give it a size, a size that I've already defined. So again, a font size that I've already defined. And then let's just make this white and give a auto layout around it. I'm gonna give this a border radius and I'm gonna make the background for this tooltip black. Now that we have that done, um, the top and the bottom spacing is also gonna be a bit reduced and I am also gonna just name this tooltip and let's just go ahead and actually create a triangle. So here we have a triangle. I'm gonna press Command Shift O to convert this into a path. And once we have that done, obviously it scales a bit nicely and then we're gonna go ahead and actually include this right within the auto layout. Once we have that done, we're just gonna position it absolutely by clicking on the icon here on the top right. And then we're gonna manually, by pressing space, space is important, if you don't press space, it's gonna go outside of the container. It does that sometime. We're gonna give it some spacing, like again, uh, some sizing, a height of maybe six and a width of maybe 12 should be fine. And let's just make it black and position it in the center like this. So this is our tooltip that's created. Now we wanna go ahead and actually include a button. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna include a button somewhere here. Let's just go ahead and make this an auto layout as well. And this is gonna be our tooltip wrapper component. Tooltip wrapper. Uh, I'm also gonna go ahead here and I'm gonna go to the content property for the tooltip and I'm gonna say this is, our, this is gonna be our tooltip text. Once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and actually, one problem with this particular component right now is that the tooltip itself is actually taking uh, or contributing in the size of the actual component, which is something we don't want because if we have that, that's gonna mess our auto layouts uh, in different ways. Imagine you have this button in a table or if you just wanna have this tooltip above a table cell, then obviously if the height is different, then that's gonna create some issues. So we're gonna absolutely position this as well. So I'm gonna click that, this is absolutely position. I'm gonna press space and just drag it above. The spacing above the actual element should be 16. It can obviously be whatever you think is best for your case. And then that's pretty much what you need. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually create a new variant. 
this variant is going to be first of all you're going to remove the clip content this variant is going to be very similar to this one it's just going to be the hover state for this and we're just going to go ahead and hide this um, and in this case we're going to say that while hovering so while hovering over this larger container the tooltip should appear and i think that should be it so if we just go ahead and actually drag this here and we can change the tooltip text to this is a button if we go here as you can see this tooltip works if you're hovering over the actual component that's working and now if we go to our button component and let's just actually go here to the button component if we also link this and make this an interactive uh, component saying that while i'm hovering over this you the button background should also change so that should also work so now if i hover over this as you can see the button is preserving its own hover states while the tooltip is preserving its own hover states and that's exactly what we want so again that's how you do it okay now that we have that done you can basically use this for anything else any other components that you have i can go ahead and i can or i can just go ahead and, and i press shift i and i can say i'm gonna uh, add a text field instead of this uh, here we have a text field obviously i did not scale it properly so you can scale it you can say this is going to be a fill container and now if we have a look at this text field as you can see if i'm hovering over it we have the tooltip again so again you can do all of this magic just with the this particular wrapper component i can similarly go here and i can say i want to use a tab instead and now we have a tab and if i'm hovering over the tab as you can see the interactive component of the tab itself is also working and the tooltip is also working. So again, that's the power of these tooltips. And the reason why we're doing this, well, I've actually explained the reason before, so that's fine. One other thing I'd just like to show quickly is if you wanted to add another property, like for example, another variant, which is gonna be the direction of the tooltip. So currently it's at the top, but I wanna say I also wanna have another tooltip that basically is at the right, as an example. I'm just doing that so you guys can just do all of the other directions yourself so in this case we just basically want to rotate this tooltip nothing else we rotate it we are going to position it uh, like this and that's pretty much it so now we're going to go ahead and drag it here again i did not press uh, space correctly so i'm just going to manually drag it center align it and see what the spacing is here maybe we want to keep it 16 here as well and similarly here we're just going to replace this tooltip with this one and we're actually just going to delete it and actually use this so i'm going to hide this tooltip in this case and in this case while hovering i actually wanted to take uh, want this particular element to go to this one and i'm going to say while hovering it should go here so that's pretty much what i wanted to do i'm going to now change the direction to right and if we go here so as you can see this button is working this is working everything is working correctly there is some uh, minor uh, problem in the delay and all of that stuff so if we just remove the dissolve and if we choose smart animate instead so as you can see this works fine this also works fine this also works fine so and if you don't want any sort of an animate you can just do it instant and that's going to work fine as well in this case since the actual size is quite a lot it's not working fine and the reason for that is if we go to our tooltip here we haven't positioned it on the right edge so we're going to say it's going to be right here and it's going to be centered vertically because now if we do it as you can see it's on the right edge and it's centered vertically so that's basically what we wanted to do and what i wanted to show you let me know if you find this helpful and i'll see you in the next video do subscribe do hit the bell icon and hit me up in the comments take care bye